packing video time. Take one. After one full year of traveling, four continents, 19 countries, and over 40 flights, we thought it was about time we shared our pro tips on what and how to pack. So if you're a little bit of a sticky beak like we are, and you like to know what people take with them on their travels, then stick around because we're going to be showing you everything. Max and I both consider ourselves to be pretty organized people. So our number one tip before we even jump into this video is to really only pack the essentials no matter where you go, you can pretty much buy everything that you will need for your travels. So don't overpack. Don't think, oh, I need to take this just in case. Just buy it when you get there. And there is nothing, nothing worse than carrying a 23 liter backpack or suitcase from the bus station to up a hill where you're staying because there's no local taxis or it's too steep or cars don't go there. Nothing worse than doing that. When you think you're done, life just throws you a big ass up here out of nowhere. So always pack lighter. My total luggage comes to less than 15 kilos. So you can definitely pack super light, but let's jump in. Take two, here we are. This is everything we travel with. One suitcase each and one backpack each. So we thought we would start with what are the things that we packed when we first started traveling that we've actually gotten rid of since then because we realized they're not good. Um, I had a rain jacket that was very shit. Invest in a good one because that's one that's useless. <laughs> it's true. We pretty much got rid of all of our white clothes because they just get stained and then if you don't have access to a washing machine to wash them right away, then then they just get stained and you have to get rid of them anyway. Or because you only have a couple of white items and you don't have a lot of time whilst you're traveling, you put all your washing together with darks and whites and then they kind of turn that gray color. So, And yeah. pollution, because we go to third world country, a lot of pollution, the white clothes get dirty. Yeah, they just get dirty too quickly and you can't wash them quick enough to keep them white. So, I did buy a new white top recently though. <laughs> that it was only five euro. And I know I'm gonna have to throw it away eventually, but I just missed wearing white, so I, I splashed out for that. Also shoes. We each only have two pairs of shoes now. One pair of runners, like training shoes, and one pair of sandals. Uh, we did have some like dress sort of shoes, but it depends where you're traveling. We wore them quite a lot when we were in Europe, but then once we were in Asia, we just found we weren't wearing them. Yeah. For five months, my fancy shoes did not move. So. Yeah, exactly. So we figured once we go back to a country where we want to wear nice shoes again, we'll just buy a pair when we need them. But we're not going to carry them around right now. We just don't go out to fancy places. You'll save money. Yeah. I did actually, I do, I actually still have a pair of high heels in my suitcase, which I'm assuming I'm going to get rid of pretty soon. And the reason I haven't is because I just have space for it. But well, we're in South America now, so might be a good time. In Southeast Asia, yeah. definitely not, but here it might be a good time. Uh, all right, so what's in our luggage? Oh, it's heavy. It feels heavy. My luggage is only 10 kilos. It's less than, it's 9.8. So mine's a bit more old school, so it's got more weight, and it's a bit big, so there's always an issue if we do check it in, which never happened anyway, it happened once. My luggage is a bit heavier than hers, and it's about 12 kilograms. And there's a lot more room. But no, yours is like 14 kilos. No, it's 12. Last time we did it in Paris, it was 12. Okay. 12 kilograms. Hers is a little lighter, but because it's a fancy and new luggage. So, I don't think you need to see every single thing that we own. You can see it's very dark. <laughs> but I will count how many tops I have and how many bottoms. Okay, so I have 10 tops. I have two pairs of shorts. I have one pair of uh, leggings and one pair of dressy pants that are kind of like loose, nicer pants. Um, and I have one dress and one mid-length skirt that's kind of, again, a nicer, dressier skirt. So I don't have a lot of dressy clothes, but everything that I do have that's sort of dressy is black, so it kind of looks more dressed up than if it were like a colorful thing or a white thing or something. I have seven pairs of underwear and five pairs of socks. I often have to hand wash my undies because we 
absolutely no more than seven days without doing laundry. So I have to hand wash them in the shower to make sure they stay clean. I do have two hats. This is a new addition. It's like way more lightweight. It's okay if it gets wet. This is my like cuter hat. Double which sided. Is double sided, which I love. But uh, it's really heavy, so if it gets wet, it's like gonna take so long to dry. But yeah, that's pretty much it for clothes. Oh, and I have warm clothes, one jumper, which I keep in my backpack, and this. This is a down jacket and it squishes up to be so small and compact and it's lightweight. It's from Decathlon. This is definitely something you have to travel with because it's so small, but it says it keeps you warm up to minus five. Oh, and one pair of pajamas as well. What I have is five funky shirts. Oh, it's six, sorry, just got one actually. Six, which is one of them long sleeve, the other four or five are short sleeves. Max also bought a white shirt recently. <laughs> yeah, so much for the white shirt uh, strategy. We know that we'll have to throw them away. So five funky shirts, one long sleeve white shirt, and then I have only four t-shirts, and two of those t-shirts are sleeveless, so very light in t-shirts. And then only one little jersey, which is pretty useless. And then I have one proper pair of chino shorts, two bodies, and two pants. One of them being a temple pants, something that you have to wear in temples in Thailand and stuff like that. So good PJs and good for the plane. These are good because they're super lightweight, um, cotton, breathable. But if you wore like thick chinos or jeans or something like that, you'd just be so hot. I have two pairs of shoes. One of them is runners. And the cool little thing is we have those covers so obviously when you go hiking stuff like that it doesn't get very clean and you don't want to travel with those all the time and when you leave them in your luggage those little things that actually Jacqueline uses shower caps uh, those are actually shoes cover but shower caps are a very good tip to make sure your shoes don't ruin everything that's in your luggage or in a rain jacket we each have a rain jacket from the cafe as well it packs very light essential items <laughs> so essential items are basically stuff that we would never ever travel without again, no matter where we go. The puffer jacket that packs up so small, it's essential for sure. Sarongs. We got those in Sri Lanka, in the Philippines. They've been amazing, they dry really quick obviously, and yeah, much easier than an actual beach towels, and you have a lot of places where you don't have access to The best to beach thing towels. about a sarong is that it's multi purpose. You can use it as a blanket, you can use it as a towel, you it's can skirt. use it as a swimwear cover up. And when you go to Muslim countries where we have to cover our hair, you can also use it as a headscarf. It's just so multi purpose. You could use it as a normal scarf. Rain, uh, what do you call it? Dry bags. Dry bags. Dry bags are very useful. Southeast Asia. And I'm sure for South America and anywhere in the world, but well packed. And then inside there, there's another one that's just more for self and style. So it's a quick little tip. It's not the lightest. It's a. You can get lighter ones than that, but we probably will do that once it breaks. Yeah, this one is a solid one, so recommended. And it counts as a backpack as well for the day. This phone case with this strap has become an essential item for me. It is so handy. We spend a lot of time hiring scooters and when I'm trying to look at the directions, there was one time I almost dropped my phone, which was really scary. And having this strapped around you just makes it so much more secure. And also then I can just leave it there, hands-free, pick it up when I need it. And also if you're worried about getting pickpocketed, you can pop it in your pocket and cause it's still strapped to you, it keeps it safe, no one can actually take it. I mean, they could easily cut this, but that's less likely to happen. Also, water bottles, reusable water bottles, I would never travel without. There's so many opportunities, even in countries where you can't drink the tap water, that you can refill your water. A lot of the hotels and Airbnbs that we say that had those big giant jugs that you just refill. Saves a lot on plastic, so I think it's worthwhile. Also saves you some money. So we also have some essential stuff in our backpack. So you want to move on? Yeah. Those are like, what do you call those? Safety razors. Safety razors. So, those are very useful, obviously less plastic as well. Mm. And the only they're so much cheaper. 
The only issue we have is we've had to actually dump the razor blades many times and all the stock of razor blades we had. So I don't know what they do with actual razors, other people that travel with actual razors, but our one is the only flaw I would say. So it's not a common thing to buy in the shops, we should struggle a little bit to find it, but apart from that, very useful and good blades. Before we move on, another essential we got is laundry bags thingy. Why you crouch down like that? You look like gold. It's just the camera is too low. <laughs> it's laundry bags. Yes. They're very useful. Um, it's for the most dirtiest clothes. But yeah, you just pop it up. The reason these ones are so good is because these are a delicate bag. So for the girlies, this is where you clean your, put your undies and your bras in to wash them. Doubles as a dirty laundry bag. So you don't have to carry around two things. And they stretch so much. Like I could literally put almost all my clothes in there. Like whenever, yeah. like big arms, but it all fits. Yeah. Highly recommend, essential. So our backpacks are both from the Gaplon, our one of the sponsors. <laughs> and uh, I'll let Jacqueline start what's inside. So choosing a good backpack is really important because it's gonna make your life a lot easier. So number one thing is these backpacks that we both have have lots of padding on the back and because they're really heavy, that is very, very convenient. They also have these straps so we can hook them onto our suitcase like Max said earlier. These ones are really affordable, honestly, just from Decathlon, but you know, just think about these things when you're buying them. The other thing that's really handy is that they have lots of pockets for organization, even though they're both very different backpacks, and they both open like all the way up. So if I got something at the bottom, I don't have to take everything from the top, I can just open it up and take it out, it's no big deal. And I can also open it from the bottom without rolling, unrolling the top. I also love mine because it has the perfect amount of organizational pockets that I can kind of put everything in a place, but I'm not gonna forget where anything is and like put something in one pocket and, and check through four different pockets before I find it. So that is really good. And they have a separate ac like pocket or a separate access for your laptop. And when you're going through security, that is so good to have that access there. Actually, essential items. We just got these new laptop cases. If you are a digital nomad, I think you will really like them. These are from a brand called Mopt, and actually they're really cool. So they're obviously a laptop case to protect your laptop and they're very thin, which is amazing and pretty lightweight, but they're also a laptop stand. So obviously I'm sitting on the ground right now, so it's not the best example, but basically, they will perk your laptop up so when you're working, your screen is raised and you're not looking down all the time. We've been traveling for 12 months and we just got these and we absolutely love them. They make such a difference when we're working. And I think over time, our necks and our shoulders are gonna be really grateful for this. And they really don't take up much space. When we saw them online, I was kind of worried that they were gonna be really bulky and really heavy. But now that we've gotten them, they're super thin, super lightweight. They don't add, it's not extra trouble to kind of pack them, but they add extra protection for our laptops, which are obviously, I think, our most expensive items that we own. So having that little bit of extra protection is really good. But yeah, moft.com, definitely go check them out. If you are interested in those, we highly recommend those products. All right, so in my backpack, basically our backpacks are our lives. If we lose our suitcase, it's not that big a deal. We can replace everything in there pretty affordably. But if we lost our backpacks, we would lose our ability to make money, our ability to make these videos, plus many, many thousands of dollars to replace these. So this is why we carry all of this stuff in here on our back. So it includes our laptops. Max actually carries pretty much all of the electronics. So inside my backpack are things like my headphones. I have these little pockets here, which I just kind of dump headphones and cords and an eye mask and random little bits and bobs and things like that. I also have side pockets, which I keep things like my phone tripod, which I haven't used in a long time. Maybe I should use that more often again. I always carry a tote bag. These are super handy. They are so compact 
comfortable you can make them really small but they're really big so you can carry a lot of stuff and also you can put them in the wash so when they get dirty you can easily clean them this we've had this since we were traveling europe and as soon as this one breaks we'll probably buy another one because they're so so handy uh, we use it all the time for groceries or just for day trips and whatnot i also carry my cosmetics inside my backpack not for any particular reason just mainly because i felt like it worked better with organizing my suitcase and my backpack this one uh, is my skincare and hair care things like that and then this is my makeup and i carry my jumper in here always because usually you need to jump on when you're on an air-conditioned plane or bus or train so that's why it's always easily accessible i also have a reusable coffee cup which now i wouldn't say it's an essential item but it has come in handy so so much we use this all the time to get takeaway coffees to make a coffee at home before we go out somewhere before we take a long bus ride so that i have a coffee to drink i also fill it whenever i'm in the airport lounge i take a coffee to take on the plane with me because sometimes their coffee is really bad or they just don't give you one so that's very handy uh, what else do i have oh this is our travel pillow it's a blow-up pillow so it folds really flat i just put that in where my laptop goes so i don't even notice it's in there but the few times that i have used it it has made a big difference for my comfort and it's really flat and affordable we never use these on the planes ever because they usually give you pillows or they have those headrest things we only use this on like buses sometimes oh and one time when we had to sleep in the lounge because our Plane didn't leave until like 2 a.m. in the morning and last but not least or maybe it is least I have an uncharged Kindle and now my favorite part the backpack this is definitely something I could not get rid of I could let go of all my luggage but this is a movie we'll do it from the inside out because there's a lot of pockets and I love all those pockets but yeah, like we said, it's from Decathlon. And the best part to me is that it opens like that. So you have to access everything you want. I have a lot of the similar item that Jackie has, such as, for example, the cup. So I use this, what it actually is, a camera bag for all our cables, gadgets, um, for all our cables. And carry a few little extra spare things like rubber bands. Always useful to carry those kind of things to carry stuff around. Also, what's good to have, it's not always useful, but it's good to have them, is this little sticky tape roll. So whenever you have all your plugs, cable, all your cable, all your cable plugs into the, uh, the plug, it will usually fall, so you can use this to support it. Inside, we have separate bags for all our cables, all mine in there, all hers in there. And then this is what bag I use for all the batteries that we're carrying around. So at least in the day, everything is available. Now, one little thing that we use, well, that we have, is we can really recording for GoPro right now. So we have a media mod, and the media mod doesn't go in the water. This is the dock that actually seals the GoPro. So at least you have it available, so it's always handy. We'll have all the products that we have on this video linked, but this is a very useful one for those of you that are vlogging with, cat, with GoPros. It's a triple charger GoPro batteries from Telesyn. So you see the batteries just fit in there and there's a little LED that tells you low, almost full, full and plugs in with USB-C, so very handy. Then this one, this bad boy here gets all our needs taken care of in terms of plugs. It's Bokum and obviously has all the countries, but it has two USB, those USBs here, and then one, two, and three USB-C, and one of them is a fast charge, so very useful. And yeah, it has all the countries as well to plug into the plugs, very useful. Inside, the last thing we have in the main pocket, the drone bag, so all those fantastic drone shots from this guy. But we obviously optimize the space, reading glasses or computer glasses, like Jackie said, not much reading. We have two hard drives. This one is four and the new one is five. So we have nine terabytes, so it's a lot. And then, I mean, for those of you that are familiar with drone bags, we got a 
triple battery pack which works in two different ways because you can use this as a battery bank as well and then the drone also all the stuff that I carry have carabiners actually everything has carabiner because can't go anywhere in life without a carabiner depend where you travel in the world but could be considered as essential and light we have a little medicine kit nothing too extravagant just plasters headache pills seasickness and allergies so that's really good and all good travelers have a deck of cards all right that's it for the main pocket if you're vlogging you might also need this suction cup for the plane all the window seats a plastic spoon you don't even know when you're gonna need a spoon a permanent marker whiteboard marker and it works on windows and glasses and yeah we just wrote things there things we want to achieve and stuff like that and then pen pencils always useful salt and pepper very useful for our little privileges so whenever we eat and we cook and sometimes airbnbs don't come equipped or even booking with comes hotels having salt and pepper changes your life what we call sports kit we carry around in the luggage skipping rope and some sports band or stretch bands which we don't use enough <laughs> which we don't use enough water bottle I got this, it's a bit tight in this backpack. I got the same as Jackie in terms of design, but just a little bit bigger, a liter and a half. You'd be surprised at how much water you drink when you travel, so don't feel like you can't carry too much water. At the top, most of the time we've got sunscreen here, if we can afford it, because it's super expensive, but sunscreen. A pair of sunnies, earbuds, and at the back, I got the same as Jackie. What I also like is, I don't know if you mentioned, but it's anti slipper at the back. So in planes and buses, like for those little bit of space they give you some time and you really want to pull out your laptop, this is very useful if you're anti-slippery. So I also carry those pillows. We each have one and they're very light. They don't take space. It is very luxurious. The pain that it is to carry it, it's worth it. I carry this old iPad. It's not useful for anything but one thing, which is Netflix. It's a good little screen, iPad Air, it's very light and uh, yeah for once again those long bus trips and all of that that's a good thing to have and that's it more cables here and there but that is my backpack day bag of 10 liters and then another one which is packing like this which is very light very useful to add in in case you just go grocery shopping and then the drone bag is waterproof and pretty secure so i'd rather pull on the weight and know the drone is secure that's all our stuff, guys. As for camera gear that we carry, as Max said, we already have the drone in his backpack. We also use this ZV-E10 with a Rode shotgun microphone. We mostly use this one uh, um, to capture our B-roll because it gets that nice zoom. We can do lots of slow motion. And I'm filming right now on just a GoPro Hero 10 with a media mod, which is the main camera that we use for this kind of talking to you guys. Um, the media mod really makes the sound quality so so much better and it's a beautiful wide angle so you can see us way better and it's also just really light and inconspicuous so when we're kind of like walking around town like filming this is a much more uh inconspicuous setup rather than like this giant thing which everyone kind of gets intimidated by also the tripod that we use is like kind of like a copycat of Gorillapod except way better. All of our electronic and filming equipment is linked in our Amazon store below. So if you want to go check it out, definitely go check it out. We love this tripod. It's like a third of the price of Gorillapod and in my opinion, way, way better. If you liked this video and you're really interested in how much we've spent in one year of travel, then go and click on this video on the screen right now because we actually run through our budget of everything we spent in the first 12 months of travel. And if you are into YouTube and looking at maybe doing what we do, we also post another video, which is everything has happened to us in that one year of travel vlogging. So you have those two videos that will give you the trifecta of what it is to do one year of travel as a vlogger. All right, see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.